Hi, this is a short video about the uh, law of large numbers, which is used uh, quite a bit in statistics problems. The law of large numbers states that the proportion of times that a particular outcome occurs in many repetitions will approach a single number. This is not the same as the law of averages. want to make that known, um, even though typically with our human behavior, we would like to believe in the law of averages. And we'll show you a couple of examples of what we mean with this. Here's our first example. A roulette wheel has 18 red spaces, 18 black spaces, and two green zero spaces. Your friend has played red on the roulette wheel and has not won on the last nine times. Your friend bets an extra on the next turn saying, by the law of averages, it is due to be red. Explain the misconception your friend has made. I'd encourage you to just pause this video, think about the question for a little bit, and then we'll advance the slide and discuss. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. Uh, discussing this one, here is a common uh, type of solution for this. The probability of the next turn being red remains constant with each turn, 18 out of 38, which is in line with the long run behavior of the game. Over many, many trials, it will approach 18 out of 38. Remember, the wheel does not remember what happened on the prior turns. Also, it would not be wise for your friend to place bets based upon short-term behaviors. Just nine times in a row is not a long enough uh, run to start making predictions about what the next one might be to be different than what the actual outcome is. Let's look at another example. Suppose the proportion of vehicles in any town USA that are Fords is 0 0.23. As part of a class assignment, you are keeping track of the cars that pass by the school. In the past 11 cars, with no repeated cars, there have been zero Ford vehicles. What is the probability that the next vehicle to pass the school will be a Ford? Again, I'd encourage you to please pause the video at this point, think about the question and how you would respond, and then we'll advance the slide and discuss. Okay, hopefully you uh, pause the video. Uh, I'm back here. We'll discuss the answer to uh, this question. So we're going to assuming independence, which means the car that went by was not the same one that came back. The probability of the next vehicle being a Ford would remain 0 0.23. We cannot make claims based upon short-term behavior. Even if 25 cars in a row went by that were Fords, the next one still has a 0.23 uh, chance of being a Ford. Hopefully this uh, short video gave you a little bit of insight with the law of large numbers and please do not confuse this with the law of averages and thank you very much.